Alright. Hey everyone. Game Maker tutorial on how to make a Pong. Uh, it's an old 80s game called Pong. It's just a little 2D ping pong game. I'm going to show you how to make it. I'm going to teach you how to create your objects and sprites. And in the next video, I'll teach you how to make backgrounds, sounds, and then your room. So, create sprite. Name this. Remember, this is a two player game. Paddle 1. Edit sprite. Double click this image. Enlarge it so you can see. Make a rectangle. Oh, sorry. Here. Make a rectangle. Just like that. Not too big, not too small. Uh, get the paint tool, give it a color. Click check. Make sure transparent is on. Create another sprite. Oh yeah, in case you guys are confused how I do this to create a sprite, I right click it. You can also click this. But just, yeah, you can click either one of these. But alright, so pedal 2, also known as player 2. Edit sprite. Enlarge. Same rectangle almost, except give it a different color so you know which one's player 2 and which one's player 1. Click OK. Now you want to create a wall. And to create a wall, you just double click the image, go to File, New, make the width 16 and the height 16. Give it any color, I'm just going to give it a basic black. So click check. Make sure transparent is off for this, just for that one. And then you're going to make a ball. Edit sprite. Double click the I'm going kind of fast because I want to keep it below 10 minutes. But just create a circle. Uh, click check. Okay. So now create objects for everything. Paddle 1. Go to no sprite. Click paddle 1. Create object 2. Name it paddle 2. I'll make Oh yeah, make sure all the paddles are solid. So just click solid. But load paddle 2. Let me go back to paddle 1 and change it to solid. Okay, now create another object. Name it wall. Now name it wall. Uh, just select the wall. Oh yeah, make sure wall is a solid object too. I then create another object. Name it ball. No sprite. Ball. This is not solid because it's going to be bouncing off things. And yeah, so um, you got your objects. Now click head to one, and just do what I do. Add event keyboard up. Keyboard again down. Click up first. Move the fix tool over. Click up. Change the speed to five or six works too. Now click down. And do the same thing except get the down key. Speed six. Same thing. Now what you want to do is. Go um, key release up and key release down and choose key release up and move the fixed over except click pause. No speed, no relative. Do the same thing for down. No speed, no relative. Alright, now what you want to do is collision with wall and ball. We'll start with wall. Uh, bring the, on the first tab, there should be this bounce thing. Drag it over and just keep it the way it is. And now select the ball, collision with ball. Do the same thing, except uh, click that and go precisely. Okay, now do the same thing for paddle 2. Except when you're adding the keyboard, make sure you do letters, because player 2 cannot do the same thing as player 1. So just click W, uh, keyboard. And I'm looking right now, below W is S. So W will be up, speed, same thing as first player then S will be down. Speed 6. All right. No relative for both of those. Now go collision with wall and ball. And just bring, for ball, use precisely. And then for wall, just bring over the balance and do nothing to it. Alright, so now you have to do key release for W and S. So go to key release, W. Key release. Where is it? Uh, S. 
and just move the fixed over and click pause for both of them. Alright, you're done. Now with wall, you don't have to do anything with... wait. Yes, you do have to do something with wall. These are all collisions. Do collision with everything you see except for the wall itself. And for paddle 1, just keep it regular. For paddle 2, use the bounce tool and just don't change anything again. And for ball, use the bounce thing and do precisely. Same thing with ball. Make add collision with paddle 1, collision with paddle 2, and not the ball because it's itself. And for paddle 2, you go to the bounce tool, bring it over. Don't do anything to it. Wait, sorry. D yeah, do something to it. Um, <laughs> not pre precisely. For paddle 2, bring the bounce over. Do precisely again. And for wall, bring over bounce and just keep it the way it is. We're all good. Now we're ready to make our room. Except, hold on, how much time do I have left? Alright, cool. I have plenty of time. Um, I'm just, wait, one more thing. Uh, select the ball again. Add event. Other. Outside room. And you go to the third tab. And see this right here, the green thing? That's restart the game. So when the ball goes outside the room, it's going to restart the game. Okay. And one more thing with the ball. Uh, um, you need to... Click uh, add event create and then move the fixed over and click all the corners like that and make the speed around 12. Okay, that's gonna make the ball move automatically. Now you are all ready. Now I'm gonna be showing you how to make your room and sounds. Alright, guys, see it in the next video. There also will be a Galaga tutorial or Space Invaders slash Galaga. Uh, stay tuned, subscribe, if you subscribe it'll help you actually find these videos easier, it'll come up on your homepage. So thanks for watching, rate 5 stars if you liked it, and feel free to comment on this video if you need any help. Alright guys, see you later.